Life of Pi, Alashma. My parents named me Piscine Molotar Patel, after a famous swimming pool in France. But since my first name sounds like a naughty word, you can just call me Pi. I grew up in India's Pondicherry district where my parents owned a zoo. As it turns out, I wasn't the only oddly named creature in Pondicherry. The zoo's tiger was called Richard Parker, but more about him later. I was raised Hindu in India, but as a teenager I decided to become a follower of Christianity and Islam too. I didn't feel conflicted about this at all. Someone get me a Nobel Peace Prize, please. A few issues with the Indian government led my father to sell the zoo and pack his wife's sons and animals up on a freighter bound for Canada. I'm the king of the world. Things went awry a few days out from the Philippines. A massive storm hit and uh, the ship sank. I escaped in a lifeboat along with a hyena, a zebra, and an orangutan. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, doesn't it? Uh, not so much. The hyena killed the zebra and the orangutan, and I feared it would come for me next. <clears throat> when Richard Parker, the tiger, jumped out from under a tarp and killed the hyena. Thank you for your help, Richard Parker. But would you mind terribly if I stay over here on my homemade raft? You're looking kind of hungry there. Because I'd spent my life at the zoo, I was able to train Richard Parker not to attack me. Eventually, I moved over onto the lifeboat and took up residence with my Bengal tiger roommate. This is the bit where stuff got weird, although... You might get weird too if you were stuck on a lifeboat with nothing but a giant carnivorous cat for company. I became so worn down by the elements that I lost my sight and couldn't fish. I started talking to someone, a meat-eating someone, who I thought was Richard Parker, but then thought it was a survivor on a different lifeboat. When I invited the other survivor aboard, he tried to attack me. But Richard Parker ate him. Lots of eating people in this book, isn't there? My feline BFF and I ran into some meerkats and carnivorous plants. And then finally, at long last, we hit a Mexican beach. Richard Parker ran off into the jungle without so much as a farewell. Typical cat behavior. I ended up recovering from my ordeal in a Mexican hospital where I got to watch the telenovelas and soccer all day. Goal! Two officials showed up with questions about what had happened. I told them everything about the hyena and the zebra and the orangutan and Richard Parker and the mystery cannibal and the meerkats. They told me I was full of it. So I told them a completely different story. After the ship sunk, I ended up on a lifeboat with the ship's cook, a sailor with a broken leg, and my mom. The cook amputated the sailor's leg to use for fish bait, but then killed the sailor and my mother. You'd think I would have been toast too, but no. I killed the cook and I ate him. Who's the tiger now? I pointed out that I couldn't prove either story and that neither tale explained why the freighter went down in the storm. When I asked the officials which story they preferred to believe, they chose the one with the animals, of course. I wouldn't choose the tale of cannibalism either. And then I moved to Canada, where I lived happily ever after and never had to worry about getting eaten by another human being again, eh? Goal! Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.